Hey, this is Jack Bourne, founder of AW Pro Tools. So this is day number two. So we're going to go over tactic number two called zero burnout. And what this is going to teach you is how to protect the people who have just arrived on your list so that they're not getting uh, two emails a day and all of a sudden they hit the eject button. We don't want to do that. We want to make sure that you have an opportunity to, to keep your messaging consistent, number one, to build trust, number two, and to educate them. So you don't want to mix up your messages by sending out broadcast messages. And also most people, when they first arrive on an email list, they don't want to get two, two emails a day. So we want to make sure that th this doesn't happen. So how are we going to do this? Let's jump over to the uh, the funnel map and you'll watch me walk through this. So it's, it's very simple using AW Pro Tools. And once we get to the end of this quick, quick video, I'm going to reiterate the, uh, the, the special offer and the opportunity to actually put AW Pro Tools in action. But let's go ahead and dive in and I'll teach you first and then talk about that later. So this is your list where uh, new signups are going to go. So people opt in to this list. And what you want to make sure is that, number one, you never, ever, ever want to broadcast this list. So whether you have five follow-up messages or 20 or 50, you're going to have a specific series of messages and you're going to keep your messaging consistent. So let's say, for example, that there's 10 and then there's no more follow-up messages after number 10. There's no more, there, there's not a message number 11. So they reach the end of that follow-up message. Well, that's where things get really, really interesting. Using AW Pro Tools, we're going to be able to set a trigger that's going to automatically look for everyone who has reached message number 10 so that they're at the end of the follow-up sequence. And AW Pro Tools will automatically move them to another list, any list of your choosing. And so this will be a list where it's safe to send them broadcast messages because they've gone through your uh, your, your gauntlet series, as some people call it, or, or just your, your initial follow-up series. And so you've protected them from receiving broadcast. So you can be broadcasting, sending broadcast messages all the time, but you have this safety list where Nothing happens while they're getting these follow-up messages because they're new. They've just arrived on your list, and you want to make sure that you keep your messaging consistent, and also you don't bombard them with emails as you're sending out broadcasts. So let me show you how quick and easy it is using AW Pro Tools. So I'm going to pause it, turn it back on, and when we come back, I'll be inside of AW Pro Tools, and I'll show you how easy it is to use this. Okay, so here we are inside of the AW Pro Tools dashboard. And what we're going to do is instead of working on smart links, we're going to go over to automation. So we click on automation and this is super simple. I'm just going to go ahead and click OK. All right. So there are some instructions on the screen, as you saw. But basically what you do is you click create automation and you're going to choose. First of all, you're going to give your robot a name. So uh, robot is a name for this automation feature, which looks for people that reach the end of the list. So I'll just call this. Uh, video demo tennis and I'll create that robot and it's just a name that it, that will help you remember it in case you, you create multiple and you probably will create multiple um, multiple robots so what you want to do is you want to pick one list where th this particular robot is going to look for subscribers who have reached the end so I'll just choose one and I'll go to next step and again these are pulled automatically out of the Aweber API so it's always up to date so what are we going to do? We're going to move them to a new list. I won't just, I'll, I'll leave the other feature uh, for another day to, de to describe. So what list do you want to move them to? And again, you just choose uh, whatever list you want it to be. You can set the last follow-up number right here to be one or two. Um, you, could, you could say, I want them to end up on follow-up message. I want them to start at follow-up message number three rather than starting them at the top. Uh, so setting it to zero, we'll start them at the top. Or, and you could also wait a certain number of days. So you don't have to move them right away. You could actually say, look, wait three days before moving them to the next list. It's really up to you because AW Pro Tools makes it really easy to use this. But let's just set them both to zero and click finish. And that's it. You're done. 